feel like more and more of my videos are starting with out with I just want to hang out. I just want to hang out. Um, I am sitting on the floor of my studio slash the girls' room. I got some cute nails on. I'm loving this color combo. Like I might want to glue these on. Thoughts? I have a cup of and one of my favorite mugs ever. It's my Donald Duck best personality mug because he does have the best personality. We've got some natural lighting going on and today I just wanted to go through. Okay, so remember how I told you that a couple weeks ago I did like this major clean out of my house. I did like spring cleaning. My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law were coming and I was like, oh, okay, so you know, they're gonna be here for two nights so I should literally clean out everything I own. So, um, and meanwhile they're like the most chill people ever. <laughs> But I like to use um, events, events like that to detox my life and my living space. So I'm very glad that I did because it proved to be a very fruitful house cleaning. I came upon, we came upon a bunch of things that I had forgotten that I had. And one of them was my mini backpack from when I was a child. I remember that my dad bought me this and it was like my first, um, I don't want to say girly, but like, you know, mature looking back and it's, it's been through, it's been there, honey. It's been there. It's been there and back. It's giving, um, your grandma's house upholstery. <laughs> But I still think it's really pretty. It's got this front, front zipper pouch, which God help us, I don't know what's in here. Okay, nothing, nothing in there. It's got these tassels, tassels on the top, these drawstrings. It's got this cute handle. And then what I thought was really cute, and still think is really cute, since mini backpacks have like come back into style and out almost again, is that the straps on the back zipper. So I guess like, I don't know, I guess if you wanted to carry it on one shoulder and not have the straps separate, or if you maybe want to, could you do a crossbody with this? I don't know. But it's really, really cute and I love it. I remember when I was a kid, I used to play with this buckle all the time. Like I used to push it in and out, push it in and out. It smells old. It literally smells old. But yeah. It is loaded, so this isn't full of things that I used to carry around as a kid. It's kind of like over the years, my mom has kindly but forcefully asked me to start <laughs> condensing um, all of my childhood memory bins that I have. And so a lot of things that I am deeply sen sentimental about and cannot get rid of have been compacted into this bag and honestly like i'm hoping i don't cry <laughs> people on my patreon are like oh my god no <laughs> okay so let's just dig right in you have to understand that these things like, this is, like, we are going into, we are going into the depths, here at the depths. This, as you can tell, is a magenta. What do you call this? Velvet? Jewelry box? And it's seen, it's, it's been there, it's been there, like the edges, edges are damaged. I'm 
gonna say well loved, not damaged. Damage sounds bad. And like it doesn't line up correctly anymore. It's not very fake nail friendly. <laughs> When you open it up, I couldn't tell you. My mom might be able to tell you. I'm doing this backwards, so bear with me. Is this satin looking? Barbie. I couldn't tell you what it's for. Maybe a charm bracelet or a charm necklace? Barbie for girls. That's how you know it's old. It would never be called for girls right now. Because it should be for people. Um, and in it is this little notebook. Do not open. It says 1994 AUG, I'm guessing August. Nicole's. Do not open. <laughs> I'm having the best time. Since I am Nicole, I am going to open it. Okay, so the first page, I don't want to show you, just in case some of these people have the same phone number. There's no way, right? Like, um, people that I was friends with in, like, the first grade, their first name and phone number. Like, the first one, they written in crayon. Like, that's crazy. Their phone numbers. So I must have brought this to school um, because I have my homework assignment. First of all, I have part of the alphabet written here. <laughs> this is how old this is, guys. And it says, HW homework, all spelling words three times, all words in ABC order. And that's the order I would have preferred it in anyway, so... The next, oh my god, it's diary entries from 1995. Oh my god, March 13th. Okay, so in full disclosure, I'm filming this video on March 16th, 2023. This diary entry is from March 13th, 1995. So that's 23, that's what, 28 years ago? Is that true? No. Ten days. Yeah. Yeah. I just double check with Google. I guess that's a simple math. Okay. This diary entry was 28 years ago. I'm not going to use people's names because, like, if I ever get famous, I don't want them to sue me. Dear Diary. It says 746. I'm guessing PM. Dear Diary. Today blank and blank were becoming friends again. I think they made up. I bet if they stayed friends for a long time, they'd be very, 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 very good friends. See you tomorrow, Nicole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, the next entry is from April 13th. Sorry for not writing so soon. I think I should not be Blank's friend anymore. First, Blank told me to wear free dress and she would too. Then I found out that you can't wear free dress till Friday. But that was a couple of weeks ago. Oh my god, can I tell you? I remember that. So I used to go to a school where you have, used to have to wear a uniform. And I remember this person telling me that we had free dress, which is where we could like, you know, dress down in our own clothes, like the next day. And I came in, this is literally something out of like a dream. And I came in dressed in free dress and it wasn't. Now that's tea. Now I have been cooped up in the house for four days and two of those days I was supposed to go to school. 
Well, I'll try to get to you as soon as I can, your pal, Nicole. That's interesting. I wonder what cooped up. I mean, maybe I was homesick or something. Oh, that's, that's it. That's the end. That's the end of the diary. Wow. We got, you can even tell, like, by how yellow the pages are. That's some serious tea, friends. Can I tell you, I remember, I remember buying this notebook. I remember my mom and I were in the grocery store and there was in the back like a little clearance rack and it was in there and I saw it and I was like, mom, I remember asking her, mom, can I please have this little notebook? And she was like, yeah, okay. We're like, <laughs> cute, okay. I probably just saved it because it's just like that's so innocent and adorable but that's what I was thinking about 28 years ago <laughs> embarrassing school moments <laughs> okay next I'm already on it. But like, almost like, like, look at their expression. Now, I did not go to Las Vegas until I was on my honeymoon. So this is definitely not from then. If I had to guess, I would say this is from my Nana. Because like, why else would I say that? would get you with something with cats on it. In here, I have <laughs> a mishmash of two red hearts. I don't know what these are from, but I know that I would save these because my Nana and I, our thing was always hearts, especially little red hearts. I had given her a sticker when I was a little girl, a red, fuzzy, like velvety heart, red heart sticker, almost about this size, a little bit smaller, and she stuck it to her bathroom mirror, and it stayed there for the rest of my life. Until, uh, until the day I got to take it back. So, I still have that red heart sticker, so I know that I save red hearts when I find them, so. Um, next is a homemade bookmark. You guys, I hope that this is not, like, boring you. This is so funny to me. And if nothing else, is a super random trigger assortment. This is like plastic with lanyard. <laughs> Makes great sounds. I remember, I don't remember when I made this, but I definitely remember making bookmark. I don't know if it was like at summer camp or at school. Okay, bookmark. We're gonna come back to you one day. And then, like any good student, I have these 
little grippies and like you know you put them on your pencil I hold my pencil improperly but which is why I have this bump it's not as prominent as it used to be because you know I just text <laughs> can never have too many of those and then I have this little bag of gemstones like I don't know what this is Oh, that's from the cute dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Bags and stuff. Okay, so this I remember um, putting in recently. This in this bag is my nano pet. Now, I had a nano pet and not a Tamagotchi. You can tell that it's worn off, the lettering is worn off, but and it still works. I have the, I have it in the bag because I have batteries, replacement batteries. So during during 2020, I had like rediscovered this thing and bought batteries to turn it on. And it still works, sure enough. And I played it for like a few days. This is the most annoying thing. <laughs> I honestly, can I tell you, I think I don't have the patience for it because I have a real life dog and I'm like, now I have to feed this and walk this and play with this one too. Like, I only have enough patience for one dog, so that's how I know I shouldn't get a second one. But yeah, I use this in my Y2K role play. Maybe it still works. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this was a gift. It says on the bottom, t-shirts of Cayman. I don't know how much it says. Like, it's like a price tag on the bottom. Oh, this was from my friend in high school. Had gone to the Cayman Islands on vacation and brought this back for me. It's a little, little jewelry box. I like the accent, the two shells right there. says t-shirts of Cayman but then there's a sticker underneath it that says made in the Philippines so like what is it <laughs> okay so this is a painted St. Martin, right, for a business trip, and this is like way before I even understood like what business trips were or like where St. Martin was. I still don't know, but um, yeah, I remember him bringing this back. He always used to bring back really cute souvenirs for me and my siblings, and inside I have part of my rock collection. 
Okay, don't laugh because you know that this is still cool. It's fool's gold. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. Can I tell you this this is so random and if you're not already judging me you will for this comment. This color reminds me of Taylor Swift's hair. I know. I know. I need help. That's fine. It's like, oh, let me see. Can you see it in the sun? I don't think that does anything for it. Is that weird? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like this muted... I don't know how to explain it, but there it is. We have Fool's Gold, aka Tay-Tay's hair. This is a tiny piece of lava rock. It's very light. Here, you want to feel? Right? Thing. Lava rock. Weird. I don't know where I got this. And then... I don't know what these other rocks are from. Just a weird kid who had rocks, I guess. There's nothing in- this one's like a little bit more shiny. Shiny! Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you where these are from. Well, the afternoon sun is coming in. Weird. So anyway, it's a special glimpse into my life. It's part of my rock collection. a bag of oh my goodness so in here is a bag of stuff that I used to have on like a cork board like a collage board here's the little I don't even know wow this is oh this is Littlest Pet Shop right is that what that is Littlest Pet Shop oh yeah it's got a cute blue collar <gasps> okay I also have in here Oh my gosh, my original, I can't show you, my original driver's license picture. And my high school ID card. Oh my god. This is, this is giving. This is a pog. Do any of you remember pogs? This is not only a pog, this is a Power Ranger pog. on the back. Power Caps. Collect a card. One of 50. 1994 Saban. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Taking a break. That's what I should do. I should ask my mom. Because um, when you want to find something, you ask your mom, not your dad. Sorry, dad. Um, I should ask my mom to dig out my pog collection. Okay, let me fix the lighting. I'll be right back. Alright, so out of that list, I- list. <laughs> out of that bag, I pulled out some items of note. First is this picture that I took. I remember taking in the third grade. My school went to Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut, and I took a picture of a blue whale in a tank. Can I tell you, for those of you keeping track, one of blue whales are my favorite. And one thing that I've always wanted to do that's on my life's bucket list is to pet a whale's tongue. I don't know how to explain it to you, and I don't think you really want to know, but like, I just... I just want to pet a whale's tongue. Look, he's like smiling. Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm keeping that out. I found a got milk ad. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> so 
so random. I found, of course, just to show you that my life actually is just one big, like, <laughs> I like this many things, and like, my life just builds on levels of this small thing. It's the same, just more of the same all of the time. It's a Disney, old school Disney photo pass card. Crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Disneyphotopass.com. Yeah. Wow. I found a ticket stub for Harry Potter. I found a ticket stub for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, November 19th, 2005. This ticket, so it's a, is it Saturday? Is it matinee? That matinee is before noon or before five. I don't know. It was $6.50. I'm covering the name of the movie theater, so you, any creepers out there don't stalk me. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Harry Potter and the, I'm guessing Geo is Goblet of Fire. That's so wild. Then I also found this. Now, I don't know what made me as a youngster want to save this one in particular. But like, it's got made me emotional. It's a horoscope for cancer, which is my sign. And at the top, there's a quote that says, travel far enough away, my friend, and you will discover something of great beauty yourself. And it's from the show O that, that Cirque du Soleil used to do, which is wild because um, O was not at Disney Springs, but when I worked at the candy store most recently, it was like a few doors down from the Cirque du Soleil building in Disney Springs, which is, which is full circle. Um, and then underneath, that's not really a horoscope, but like, I guess like a quote for that astrological sign. This person wrote, I had no idea that these crazy contortionists had a song, but what I, but what do I know other than what the future holds for you, question mark. Anyway, if you get out of the rut that you're in, you will see that not everything is as you think it to be, and that you are a more valuable person than you thought. Period. <laughs> so... Even if you're not a Cancerian, this is for you. This is a sign for you. If you get out of the right here. <laughs> if not, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, this next part I'm going to do super gingerly because it's like way too loud for ASMR, but this is literally my keychain collection. I have a Canada keychain, I've never been. A wily e coyote. This is definitely like a Claire's nail file. It's a little smiley face and evaporated water, but still hanging in there somehow. Who went to Canada? Ireland. My best friend growing up was an Irish step dancer. It's a little sandal. San Francisco. I have no idea where that's from because I never went there either. I have, this is a lip smackers. Like, you can put your lip smackers on here. This is from friend, from friends, from Claire's for sure. This friends keychain. There is a WBLI, which is a uh, radio station in New York keychain, a glow in the dark. And then, ironically enough, this is not. This must have been a gift because I only ever moved here. Um, a Florida keychain. It's actually really pretty. But yes, I will gingerly put this down. All right. So last, but certainly not least, in this bag is some of my jewelry from when I was a kid. I'm already, I'm already excited. <laughs> not jewelry, but worth noting. Little koosh, little koosh ball. Naturally. 
I have, oh my gosh, um, I should have worn this for my St. Patrick's Day video. It's pony beads. <laughs> it's an Irish flag necklace. Like I said, my friend was growing up, my best, best friend, um, growing up. Her and her whole family was really into Irish step dancing. And not like really into it as in like, it was a hobby. Like this was their life. Like they were actually really good at it and would go and compete in the world competition in Ireland every year. Like they would win. I know I've talked about this. I think I talked about this on the Patreon once, but like they would win like regionals, like state or whatever, and they would eventually win all the way up to going um, to Ireland every year and competing in the world's competition. And like, she would miss school because she was at the world's and I would be like, oh my god, my friend's famous. This is a friendship ring. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it says friends. That's really cute. Oh, and a little small. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we'll put it back over. Oh my gosh, do you remember these bracelets? They're like, this is not the stretchy kind. Like, I don't know what the point was because it wasn't cute. It didn't, like, it doesn't fit my wrist now as an adult. Like, but they were just bands. Like, I don't know. This is something that someone that I was, like, dating in, like, the eighth grade got for me when he went to Disney. Which is ironic because I didn't go to Disney for the first time until... I was a senior in high school. So, I was accumulating Disney things even before I'd ever gone there. But I was born to love Disney, so. <laughs> Speaking of, I have a very now creepy looking Belle Beauty and the Beast watch. It's a little mirror. Beauty and the Beast, 1991 Hope Industries. Next, we have the ever popular WWJD bracelet. Honey, I definitely took this off before. I stopped wearing this before college because <laughs> I should probably wear that. I need that. Oh my gosh, another ring. Now this ring, I used to be different colors than it is now, but I remember getting it from PacSun. Oh, remember how big PacSun was? Oh my gosh. Actually, let me see if it fits on this one. Nope, definitely not gonna fit. Okay. While we're on the ring path, I have a <laughs> Koosh, Koosh ball ring. It doesn't get more Y2K than that, I don't think. And then I also have this little gold ring that I'm pretty sure came out of like the 25 or 50 cent, like, you know, you at the, at the grocery store or whatever, you put the, the quarter in and you twist. What do you, what is that called? Not like a candy dispenser, but you know what I mean. So cute. Blinged out. Oh, I have another ring. I don't know what this is from. It's cute though. Oh, you know what? I think I bought this in college. Just like a cheapy. Still can't do any finger flutters. <laughs> this goes to show you that. Now, either I made this. Okay, no, I'm gonna guess that I didn't make this, that someone made this for me, because I just realized that this neck, this bracelet says N I C Q T E. Nick cute. They're not wrong. Nick cute. I know, I know where the Barbie thing is from. This, this, this had Barbie stuff on it. I'm pretty sure that this had like a Barbie, Barbie charms on it. I think it was a Barbie charm bracelet. Yes, yes. 
can see it's broken off. But can you tell? Can you tell? It's like the B. B-A from Barbie. <gasps> That's what it was, friends. Barbie. A Barbie charm bracelet. Happy birthday, Barbie. <laughs> wow. This is wild. Is there any... No, no charms. Chunk of Fool's Gold, though. <laughs> also got, of course, a Minnie Mouse charm bracelet. Oh my goodness. You can tell how young I was because look how small it is. Like, wow. So we have mini, 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 mini. Two minis. Little blue. Little blue, 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 And then I can never remember the cat's name. Minnie's cat. I know her dog's name is Fifi. Alright, so I double checked with Google and she says the cat's name is Figaro, which sounds right. If you ever watch the Mickey Mouse cartoon, the new ones, my favorite one is um, Yumi and Fifi. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, this is definitely from like the ninth grade when the kid that I was like dating and by dating I mean like we like like went to kiss and missed at a school dance um, gave me this I can't believe I still have this I think it's because the charm is so cute honestly I wonder if I put some toothpaste on there like if it would Come back to life because that's a really cute charm. It's not like you know, I still have feelings from someone from a million years ago, but it is a sweet sentiment. That's probably why I held on to it. All right, we're down to the wire here, guys. We have one last item, and it's very, um, very 2000s of us. It is a like braided bracelet. And the clasp is a peace sign. <laughs> so I used to, oh yeah, I used to mess with this all the time. Oh. Oh gosh, watch me break it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Well, it was one and done. <laughs> Friends, that's what was in my... That's what was in my childhood bag. This was, this was wild, honestly. That, like, horoscope really spoke to me. Um, I'm, you know, very lucky to be the proud owner of some fool's gold, fool's gold, and some koosh ranks. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this saw-spoken chill. We're just chilling. We're just, I'm just in my seat, Vermont. See my Vermont hoodie, some cute nails. We're just chilling. Um, yeah, this was awesome. I let me know in the comments if you like videos this style. I know you prefer soft speaking every now and then. But um yeah, let me see what more old stuff I can dig up. Maybe I can ask my parents to go through a couple bins in our basement back home in New York and, and send some stuff down. But for now, I will see you, 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 you on the next one.